In this question, we are given a linear uh, relationship, not the data, but just the linear equation. And x, let's see, x is a team's batting average, y is the number of runs in a season. And first part for a team batting average right here says an x value, find y. So I can definitely do that in Excel. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So unfortunately I can't copy and paste here, no worries, just type it in. I'm gonna put the X part first, the MX7000X uh, minus 660. Order is not super important here. Actually, I wanna put it in the second column. All right, first one's gonna be X. All right, I want 0.235 for X. Now I can copy from the equal sign and paste. And again, go in delete X times that value. So 985. Okay, so we have that. Now for part B, they're giving us a Y value. Uh, so in Excel, it's not easy to do this. I would not ask this question on a midterm or on a final exam at this point, but we can still answer it. So we're gonna use Desmos here. So I'm pasting in that equation and notice it's crazy. Uh, right away, it looks like it's going vertical. So we have a few problems. I'm going to the graph settings and it lets me type in the X and Y axis values. Now remember, the batting average is a number between zero and one. So that's the X axis. This should be between zero and one. Uh, I don't think the batting average generally goes over 0.5. So I think 0.5 is probably even a bit high here. Now the y-axis, you shouldn't have z negative runs. You probably shouldn't even have zero. You should probably have several hundred, but I'll just go from zero. All right, max, I don't know if there's a maximum, but certainly we just got 985. So let's, let's say 2000, I think might be a reasonable max. We can adjust this later. All right. So that's pretty good right there, uh, pretty good graph. Uh, I can left click and drag, and what I'm looking at is the second number. I want the second number, the Y value to be 480. So you could zoom in, that might make this a bit easier. I'm zooming in in this area, left click and drag to move. So I'm looking at 480, I don't think I can type in here. So I think we'll just have to kind of zoom in and just get a little more accurate this way. All right, doesn't have to be perfect. So let's say right there, 480.02 is pretty good. Uh, 0.16286, I can't copy this value, I don't think. 0.16286. So see how good your memory is. All right, so that's how I got part B right there. If you use algebra, you could absolutely uh, plug in the value for Y and then solve for X. That's a very reasonable thing to do. For me, I'd add 660 to both sides, then divide by 7,000. Totally okay way to get part B.